would you come again and why? why I don't think I don't think I would come back. Let me just share with you my thoughts on Bora Bora. And if you're thinking about coming, just keep these things in mind. This is it. Look at that bird. Take a mental picture. We might not be able to see this for years. Hey, let's go get the bags, guys. I'm on my again. I ain't gonna sit around thinking what I could have been. Why do I not have my shades on and they're polarized? What is polarized even mean? Boom, put them on. Why don't you just say shades? They're not just shades. Look at that blue, look at the blue sky. Look, like, see that? Now take the glasses off and look, uh, see that? No, it just looks dark. Man, you hate on my glasses. They're good glasses, you... though. Oh, that's crazy. Let me get these back. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Uh. Why don't you interview me? Why don't you ask me some questions and I'll answer. Okay, uh, so what is your overall opinion of Bora Bora? I think it's a beautiful island. Beautiful island, wonderful people, very friendly. The waters are perfect and um, very expensive. Great for a vacation. What's your favorite part of Bora Bora? Definitely the lagoon. Swimming, snorkeling in the lagoon, trying to scuba dive in the lagoon. I'm gonna conquer that fear, problem, whatever it is that keeps me from lightweight drowning, <laughs> scuba diving. But uh, definitely the waters. The waters, the, the ocean, the, the underwater wildlife is by far, like it's, it's one of the most beautiful places I've seen underwater. What's your least favorite part of Bora Bora? My least favorite part, I think, would I would say, would say you. the food. What'd you say? I would say you. Me? But I'm, I'm not boring, boring. Like I'm not. But like the fact you're here just ruins it. Ruins. Okay. Well, that's yeah. that's nice. Thank <laughs> okay, you. Yeah. The food Thank did kind of. Mid. It was very mid. Um. I'm about to start crying, bro. You huh? tell me I'm the worst part. <laughs> Now I would say the food for me. Like yeah, I even try that seafood appetizer that they gave us last night to me was delicious. So the seafood is is very good, but overall like I did not I did not um, find the food very great. I agree. Would you come again and why? why I don't think I don't think I would come back. Um, because it's a beautiful place, and I'm glad I came. But to me, the journey is not worth the reward more than once. We travel what, nine hours. plus four, plus another one. 15? 14. 14, 14, thank you. Thank you, we traveled 14 hours to get here, and uh, we stayed a week. I'm glad we came. But there are other places that I think I enjoy a little bit more that are like this, like Krabi in Thailand, in uh, Bahamas. I think there are places that are closer to our house that are easier and just as enjoyable. And the food, I think, is, is delicious. One more question. Just let me cook. Let me cook, OK? OK. Um, what would you recommend? What would you tell people to do if they came to Bora Bora? If you come to Bora Bora, I, number one, I would say get yourself a scooter. Riding around this island on a scooter is a lot of fun. Better than renting a car, motorcycle, scooter. Because um, just the wind on your face, the whole vibe, the views from the motorcycle. Yeah, man. Yeah. You gonna use it more? Yeah, man. You gonna, are you Jamaican, man? Because you make me crazy, man. Uh, kiss me. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I would say do, you got to do the lagoon safari. You okay. got to go snorkeling. I think if you, um, I think you should try to scuba dive. They have at the Eleuthera Diving Center in Bora Bora. It's, it's beautiful. Um, oh, you got to go to, <laughs> you got to go to uh, Matera Beach. It's the only public beach on the island and it's beautiful. Um, I think you should eat at uh, Lucky House. Huh? Lucky House. Lucky House is good food. 
La Moana. I think it's La Moana. It's at the Intercontinental Hotel. The restaurant at the Intercontinental has, for us, some of the best food. Um, Lucky House, Moana. Overall, Moana was the best, but in my opinion, the food at Lucky House is the best. Okay. I'm with you on that. Kind of. For little kid food. <laughs> And I guess, I guess if you can, stay in one of the overwater huts or bungalows that we didn't, uh, do, it. We didn't do it. Cause they were like, you know, 15 million dollars. 15, 27 million dollars a, a night. I'm like, uh, we found an Airbnb that, that um, did it for us. But if you can, if you can afford, the 12,000 a night or whatever it is on these bungalows. Do, do that, do that. But make sure, you, uh, make sure you don't have little money bands. Like this guy. Like, like this guy. Cause I'm making little money moves. Yes, ma'am. What would you tell, tell people like what not to do to come here? Definitely don't bring your, your Western efficiency with you where your 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 like expectations your expectations for everything to be fast and quick don't bring that with you man because everything is more laid back island time it Your takes a God. takes a long time man for them to bring you the check if they even bring it at all relationships are really big here so don't come here with a whole lot of work to do come here to enjoy this the people the people are very friendly um, and the beautiful lagoon. Let's see. Anything else you want me? I want you to ask me about me. Um, what do you wish you have done in Bora Bora? I I would have liked to go scuba diving with you to see the manta rays. Yeah. But I didn't because I kept drowning on the basic in the basic area. And if I'm drowning at 12 feet, 15 feet, I don't need to be 40 feet underwater. Like my goggles, I think my face is too big or something for these goggles. So I'm, a fat I'm a little, I'm a, I have a generous waistline and I'm a little fluffy. I will admit that I'm a little fluffy. Like a, I'm a what's a pucker? A, a, a pupper fish. Pupper. <laughs> That's it. So what else, anything else, Berkeley Winfrey? How do you think I'm the best daughter ever? Like, tell me how amazing I am. Great for you are for me. Uh, her, well, let me think about that. That's a hard one. Uh, what, what's the question? Best daughter? How how you're the best? Yeah, how am I the best daughter? Oh. Uh, Can we come back to that? I'm struggling right now. I need more time. I need more time to think about that. Cause, and I don't mean to like be rude and I don't, I don't know. Um, you, what is something you would like to tell the youth? Your body's dope. I hit me the hope I dig it and don't chiz oak. Mike and all, all I'm thinking about, about is provoke dope. your fine dope looks. It's cool, it's cool with my boys. And all I'm thinking about is trying to make some noise. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Now, man, enjoy your youth. Do good in school. Honor your parents if they're good parents. And, uh, and dream big, man. <laughs> dream big. Why are you laughing at that part? Yeah. The, why are you, just looking at are the you, yeah. We should get tattoos. We should get matching tattoos. 